All right, so here we are with uh, Loma Linda Monument. We're going to go with the Mark II on this because the information was incorrect for the last build I did. So this has been corrected. Uh, the main thing is instead of the 24-inch base with the 18-inch top, this thing got on a severe diet. I guess it was supposed to be 12 inches wide with a 9-inch top. But that changes, of course, the entire engineering of the top. So... Um, and the bottom as far as the power and everything. So it warrants going over here. So it's kind of the same construction other than the inner frame. So we'll go over that. But the top is the same. You'll have the inner jig that you'll weld in. But it's just uh, it, the whole thing is 9 inches rather than um, 18. So you'll have the same um, sides and all that. So go ahead and build all that like you usually do. Um, this is the main difference is instead of having the inner frame um, with the pieces that go across because it's so you know wide we could get away with that instead we're going with what's called i'm calling it the u-frame so you're going to go ahead and build the outer u-frame which is three inches wide and weld in the corner pieces like we would um, on a normal piece there on a normal frame and then what you're going to do is take inner pieces that will slide in to the sides here and you'll go ahead and um, rivet those in and where they meet here like you can put the side one in first and you can weld right here and then you can put the top one in and rivet it along and you can weld right here and what that's going to do is give that some strength um, because this whole thing is now going to um, not have the benefit of being a complete frame and it's not going to have the benefit of being, you know, six inches wide for strength and stability to hold this up. Instead, it's only three inches wide. So what you want to do is make sure that this thing's nice and rigid. This U-frame is nice and rigid. Then you're just going to act like you did before. And you're going to go ahead and lords this to the bottom piece. Um, but you're going to lords it on as good as you can. Just make sure it's nice and squished. And then go ahead and shoot self-tapper. So I've, I've left uh, access holes. Um, all the way along here to be able to shoot screws in. So make sure it's nice and, you know, nice and well mounted well. Um, because we're still going to do the same up here. And then what you're going to do is bolt in the uh, half inch socket screws like we did before. And you still have the same mounting pieces up there that we've done before. So it's just that part of it is still the same. It's just everything's on a diet. Um, and you still have the same two screws at the bottom. It's just, you know, like I say, everything's really skinny. Um, the middle reveals the same, it's just, just narrower. Uh, and the base is the same, except everything is narrower. So it's a narrower power box. Um, it just kind of sits. You'd only, you only have two quarter 20 rivnets to put in here and here. Uh, and then you'll just have two little ears that stick out of the power supply box here. And then you'll just... Make sure you trap these with these rivets. So when you go to rivet this thing together, make sure you trap the legs on. So that way the legs are on there like this. And then that way it's ready to receive those, uh, those riv nuts in that location there. Right here. This whole thing is going to be installed. And then there's going to be a three foot, a three inch slab poured after it's installed, they're going to pour a three inch slab all the way around this thing for whatever reason, decorative or whatever. So all of the height and everything is built up for that. Um, so the door access is, is about an inch and a quarter above that um, proposed slab area. So the door is here. So everything's been put on a diet in that respect. Um, so just uh, know that that's going to happen. So you end up with a 12 inch tall here above the slab. Um, you still have that same tray here. So look for those jigs. Uh, but everything else is just kind of the same. It's just put on a diet. Uh, so you'll have the same old width here, but it's just brought in a little bit. You'll have your power is moved way over. So you just have a little chunk of two by two that pokes up right there into the power box you can keep it low it doesn't have to go into the power box keep it like a half inch from the top and that way you can just you know weld it down here and then that'll leave room 
um, it'll be might be easier to get in and out that way. Uh, remember to make sure you got a nice long leash for that. So the LED trays, because they don't lo they no longer mount to a frame like the other ones, they have the frame where you mount the LED to. It sits now inside the U. So I've got about um, about a sixteenth between here and here. So what you're going to do is take both 040 panels and they've been modified as such. So you're just going to take these these um, tabs here, put them in the brake and bend it, and use this as your as your uh, as your guide. So line that up to the jaw and bend these up. Um, and then you're just going to take both of these and rivet them to each other. So that will give it some strength, um, a little bit of rigidity, and that will give you also where to put your LEDs. Because we're losing an inch of um, face to uh, LED surface there, it's going from five, almost six inches to closer to four. I went ahead and put four rows of LEDs instead of three, like the other one. So in order to make that um, work, it's still within one power supply. It's 52 feet. So we should be good with one power supply. And the box has been modified to only take one power supply. So that's right here. So it's not quite as big as the other one. So <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, like I say, you're just going to lord that down. Make sure you frap that down real good. Do like you did before. Run screws through everything real good. Um, and that should do it, though. Otherwise, it is kind of the same. You got the same guys here. All the base is the same. Uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. Uh, so you have any questions? Oh, yeah, over here. This is a little bit longer than the other one. So disregard anything that you saw previous. Um, they've been bumped up to 45 inches. It's the 3x3x3 three by three by three sixteenths. Then you have your little chunk of 2x2. Two two. Um, the files are laid out as such. You've got you got your outer shell, 090, it's all there. you got your inner shell stuff, it's all there. Um, you got your U-frame, middle reveal, power box, or bottom box is there. There's your power box stuff. There's all your mount plates. Uh, your inner 040. Um, oh yeah, so where you see here, when you bend this, this will give you the ability to put this in either way. This will, this can go in in either direction. <clears throat> we'll go over that. And then you have your two clear Macrolon, or Tough Act now. Got to get used to saying that. Um, right, so power will be right here, and that will allow you to have your leash, collect your leash into this little guy, and that will give you the ability to hit this hole right here. So where that little green hole is, that's your power through. And then you can drop your secondary LED right down in. And again, make sure we got a long enough leash, you know, so you can work with pulling this out and stuffing that back in to make it easy. So, all right, I think that covers it. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up.